two teams will both get gacked, doubling gacking right here on this stage. <laughs> so purple team, if you're able to stump both of the teams, you will get 100 points, maintain control. All right, we have 10 questions in this final elimination round. Purple team, ask the first question now. What does the actor Dana Carvey play in Wayne's World? Yes, pink team. Garth. Garth is it. Red team gets gagged. <laughs> pink team, read us the next question. On the television show I Dream of Genie, who is Genie's master? Ooh, not in time. It is Major Nelson. That means blue and red get gagged. <laughs> All right, pink team. Give me another question here. Okay. What television network hosts an annual music video award show? Yes, it is the blue team. MTV. MTV is it, and that means the red team's getting back again. And the blue team's gonna <laughs> ask the next question. Go. What NFL team is based in Washington, D.C.? Yes, the red team. Seattle. Ooh, that is incorrect. It's something that's dropped. <laughs> it is the red team, and you get oh. gacked, red team. <laughs> All right, how about another question, blue team? In the Archie comics, name one of the two girls Archie is in love with. Yes, red team. Betty. Betty is it, and Veronica's the other. That means pink team getting gagged. <laughs> All right, ask red team, go. On Doug, what girl is Doug secretly in love with? Yes, pink team. Penny Manning. Oh, yo, that's yeah. it. That means blue team's getting gagged. All right, and pink team. Pink team, read us the next question. Okay, next question is, what is Garfield the cat's favorite food? Yes, that is the blue team. Lasagna. Lasagna is it. Red team gets gagged. All right, blue team, next question. Oh, dripping all down. All right, go ahead, blue team. In the Peanuts comic strip, what is the name of Charlie Brown's sister? Yes, pink team. Sally. Sally is it. That means the red team's getting gacked again. All right, folks, we're down to the last two questions. Little slipping and sliding. Go ahead, pink team. On the television show, Family Matters, Delia White plays what character? That's a uh, red team. Urkel. Urkel is it, yes! That means that the purple team, I've been calling them blue, but the purple team's getting gacked. This is the last question. Red team, read. The phrase, I'll be back, was spoken by what actor? Yes, purple team. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's right, your mind. And that means the pink team gets the final gap. to break it right here, right now. The ties are between the purple team and the red team. Pink team, you're gonna ask the next question. Pick one of these two, our final tie-breaking question. All right, read it. The band which sings Disarm is called Smashing What? Yes, the red team. Pumpkin. That is right, that means the purple team is gonna get the final gagging. <laughs> and we now have our teams, folks. That's it for our gag fest round. Coming in first place with 1,500 points. Red team, 1,100. But I tell you what, Chris, thanks for stopping in. You were the wild card team. You and your purple team went all the way, buddy. You did a great job. 1,000 points for the day. Mike. That's right, folks. Making it very exciting right up to the end here. But we still have much more to go. That's right. You come back after this. We're going to have our final game and our final competition. And we will have our Nickelodeon All-Star Challenge champion. This is right after we go back to Big Health Central. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Phil. Can't wait to see the outcome of that exciting final challenge. Okay, we're back here at the Helpathon. I'm Mark Summers. Gabrielle Cardera is with me. Gabrielle, uh, well, what do you think uh, the uh, winner is going to be there? Who do you think? Who I think is going to win? Well, yeah. it's hard to say, Mark, but you got to like Jeremy Jackson's team. I mean, you know, they seem to be stepping up to the plate under pressure, doing very well. Going to find out soon when the All-Star Challenge continues. But first, let's check in with the Tote Meister, the guy counting the calls, Jonathan, Taylor, Thomas, all three of those people. Jonathan. Well, Mark, I'm here hanging with the Tote Board crew, wondering who's going to win that All-Star Challenge. But if you're wondering how, how the numbers are adding up over here, I'll let you in on it. We've got 16,879,427 hours played. Back to you guys. We're back here. Oh, I guess we're back here. Where are, where are, oh, there we are. Gosh, who are we talking to? Uh, Arthur Reggie, this gentleman right over here, and Jimmy Lee on a new show on Nickelodeon called... My, My Brother, Brother and Me. And it's starting when? October 15th. Very good. Watch for that on Nick. And right over here, be right with you, Gabrielle. We have a gentleman whose name is Ross Bagley, and you're on what show, too? Little Rascals and Fresh Prince. Little uh, Rascals and on the Fresh Prince. And how old are you? Five. And do you know about donating time, Ross? Uh-uh. 
Well, we're yeah. going to teach you along the way. <laughs> anyway. You guys, you got to make your calls now. That's right. Absolutely. Let's go back to Orlando, find out who's going to walk away with the championship all-star challenge. Now, I'm who so do you think nervous. Be? You're nervous? I'm about very nervous. Don't, I don't be nervous about it. And I tell you, Phil, these teams have competed so well, making it through our first two rounds, the GAC Fest round and the Nick Action Game round. We got the pink team and the red team eliminating the purple team. What do we got for a score now? Well, the pink team has 1,500. The red team has 1,100 points, Mike, going into this round. All right, well, here's what happened at the break. Those two teams took all of their points and traded in for as many players as they could get. So the pink team has 15 extra players on their team. And over on the red team, they trade in for 11 extra players. Here's what happens, folks. We play this game. Players with the most GAC on their heads. Looks like they're going to win. We'll go to Robin for the official rules. Robin. Thank you, Mike. When I give the signal, one member from each team will launch these GAC balloons to the rest of their teammates in the field who must break and have those balloons explode on their heads. The first team to break the most balloons on their heads in three minutes will win. Let's put the time on the clock. On your mark. Get set. And we have GAC applying everywhere. They're really going to have to launch those GAC balloons high in the air. And looks like a break on both sides right there. Balloons are flying through the air and filled with GAC raining on our players' heads. Those are not soccer balls they're hitting. Those are balloons filled with GAC. What do you see, Phil? I'm seeing GAC balloons flying through the air. And it will only count if it hits on the head. A smack right there for the pink player. Another one over there for the red team player. You. Oh, that one's flat, but it didn't hit the head. These guys are taking it everywhere. They're taking it in the face. Nine. 